At Donald Trump's campaign rallies, in his speeches, there's always an edge to them. And at this one, in Georgia, he seemed more aggressive than usual. Everything Joe Biden touches turns to shit. The crowd loved Trump's attacks on Joe Biden, going after everything from his policies to his speech impediment. We all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant of a state of the union address. Wasn't it, didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm going to bring the country to, 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 together. I'm going to bring it together. His supporters becoming wow. especially yeah. animated on immigration. Trump met with the parents of Lake Ann Riley beforehand. The 22-year-old nursing student was murdered while out for a morning jog on a wooded trail. Arrested and charged in her killing is an undocumented immigrant who entered the U.S. illegally and was allowed to stay. Lake and Riley would be alive today if Joe Biden had not willfully and maliciously eviscerated the borders of the United States. The murder case is now a campaign issue, part of the broader debate on immigration policy. Republicans interrupted Biden's State of the Union address, demanding he acknowledge her death. Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. Using the word illegal in that context drew criticism from progressive voters. And Biden now says he regrets his words. And I shouldn't have used illegal. I should have, it's undocumented. And look, when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me, one of the things I talked about on the border was that his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I talked about what I'm not going to do, what I won't do. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. Katie, while Biden is clarifying that moment, his re-election campaign is calling his State of the Union address a major success. Yeah, and that's because of how much money they've been able to fundraise. The Biden team says that they set a record collecting $10 million U.S. in the 24-hour span after his speech. Democrats are ahead of Republicans by millions of dollars when it comes to fundraising so far this year. But Biden walking back his comments over the word illegal has infuriated his Republican critics. They argue essentially it's tone deaf. The Republican House Speaker called it embarrassing, and they are ramping up their attacks against Biden. Ian. Katie Simpson in Washington tonight.